Welcome, this is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina, I am the mommy. Welcome, if this is your first time, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome to the Ark today, guys, on this happy Sunday. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and visiting. Um, stopping by and hanging out with us. Um, hope your Sunday is going well. Ours has been relaxing. We came home after church and just ate lunch and chilled. You need those times sometimes, guys. You really do. You need chill time sometimes. But um, the sun is starting to come out. It's not raining as much, so that's a good good thing. So anyhow, just to get a few things out of the way, I just want to explain to the newcomers what my channel is about. I, first and foremost, I am a drama-free channel, first and foremost. But first and foremost, I glorify God on this channel. We do Bible study. We're doing a Bible study right now which I'm doing it very slowly just to tell you it's not like all well, at once. I'm doing like one, two questions a day. Um, I'm using this whiteboard behind me. Um, I have what's called Disassociation Identity Disorder and this channel is journaling my journey with DID. Um, and I'm hoping it's a safe place for everybody. Um, we do prayer time. If you ever have any prayer requests, put them in the comments. If you have any questions on my DID, Put it in the comments or on Hannah or Mariah or any anything I'll talk about within reason. But, um, so anyway, that's just a little out of the way just to tell you a little bit about what my channel is about. Um, but I do show my doll, my babies. I love my babies. I am a dolly mommy. Um, that's why I start out every video by saying I am the mommy because I am more of a dolly mommy than a dolly collector um just get that out of the way too I am a mommy I do role plays with with my toddler Mariah we play plus I have Jeremiah who you will see in videos go to yesterday's video him and Mariah were having fun although you have to stand on your head the last part of it because the cameraman over there must have flipped the must have flipped the camera over, not knowing. So it was like this instead of this. It was more like this than like this. That makes sense. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Let's pray, guys. We're going to do one question today, and then I have something for you guys today um I have a few things to do after we do this I'm going to do a tag today I think I'm gonna do a tag although there is one tag that I could possibly do I could do but I don't know who hosts it actually I can do two tags today which I might do two tags today I just thought about that. I can do two tags today. Sorry, guys. I can do two today. I can still do two today. I just... But I do do tags and themes as well on here. Um, when I know what they are. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But we have yet to have an In the Ark talk. A little chat about how confusing it is for me. Because... Everything that's out there is so confusing. It's like, whose tag am I doing? You know? Or is this a tag? Or is it... I'll talk about it in the arc. Let's get started with this, guys. Because it's like, yeah, one of those. <laughs> so, anyway, let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you and we thank you for this time that we have with you. We pray that you will lead us, guide us, direct us, teach us, speak to us as we get into your word now. In the name of Jesus, I just pray that you will open up our hearts, our minds, and our, our ears. Open up the eyes of our heart. Open up our minds and our ears that we may hear and know what you have for us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, guys. Let's get started. Now, just so you know, the Bible study is out of here. It's called Experiencing Spiritual Intimacy by Krista Kine. And we have been working on cohabitation. 
go back and watch the, the videos. I will re review this at the end quick for you guys. Um, like right before we do the ponder and pray and trinket to treasure section. I'll review it in a couple days. But anyway, my Bible is the King James Version. So the verse I am reading is out of the King James Version, just to tell you. And it is... Oh, I guess I should show you what it is. And, oh yes, Mariah's sitting there all patiently waiting for me to get done here, I think. Yes, Mommy. Okay. Anyway, um, we're going to move this. Sorry, guys. I got to put this up further so you guys can see. Can you guys see that? Good. Yeah, I can see it. Kind of. Kind of a glare. But, no. You guys see it now? Yeah, you guys can see it better here. 1 Corinthians 3.16 is the verse I'm reading. And this is out of the King James Version. And this is the verse actually for the, 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 the Bible study itself. For like the, the chapter itself. Not the Bible study itself, but the, the chapter itself. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Do you not... This is the New King James Version now of this same verse. 1 Corinthians 3.16 Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? And yesterday's question was an interesting one because it asked, you know, basically it asked how we are described in 1 Corinthians 3.16. And we are described as God's temple, his dwelling place. Sorry, guys. This was the question I asked for yesterday. Since I only got two answers, I will probably hold this over. Hey, you guys can see that better. When I move that closer, you guys can see that better. Can't you? Yeah. But this is the question that I ask. What does it mean to be set apart? Now... I'm going to say this describes us as God's temple. Can you guys see me right that? I know. It's a little. You guys should be able to see that. Yeah. Good. God's temple. His dwelling place. Okay. The question I asked though to go along with this. What, what does it mean to be set apart? Okay. I got some really great answers. Um. From Tammy and Anne Marie, actually. Um, they both gave me some really great answers on this. And I'm going to read them off my phone for you guys. I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to read them to you. Hopefully you guys can, can hear what they have to say. So, let me go to studio. Because these are the only two answers I saw. Let me see here. Okay, this is Anne Marie's answer. Should being set apart means our focus should not be on worldly things, but things of God and our spiritual life. We are different. We shouldn't be focusing on... I totally agree with, with Anne Marie on this. We should not be focused on the things of the world. You know, like, okay, around here, we just had some big lottery drawing. I guess it was all around the country. I don't know. Powerball, I guess. And it's a big drawing, and everybody was just focused on that. As a matter of fact, they get so focused on it that you can't get into the gas stations around here. The lines are so long. Going into a grocery store that has a lottery machine in it, which almost all of them do now. Don't even go there. It's like, you know, they're all focused on getting rich. You know, instead of focusing on God. But as Christians, when you accept Christ as your Savior, your focus changes. So our focus changes. And then Tammy, my love Tammy over at Tater Tots said, when we become a believer of Christ, we are set apart from people and things. 
which is basically the same thing Anne Marie said. She is basically the same thing as Anne Marie said. Honey, you want to put that? Is being set apart means that we are different. We are not like everybody else. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. Now I'm going to read what the back of the book says. This is the answer that's in the leader's guide in the back of the book. Okay, Paul says we are temples, the dwelling place of God, set apart, sacred, made holy by the one who lives within. There you go, guys. There it is. There it is. There's the answer. Now, we're going to erase this because we have another verse to do today. I know we're already 10 minutes into this video and I haven't gotten to the other verse yet. I know. You, you, you new ones are probably figuring, man, she can talk. <laughs> yeah, sorry. 1 Corinthians 3.16 is that verse, is the main verse. Now, this verse that we're going to do is... That way you guys have time to turn to it. And this will be just to tell you, if you want confirmation of what the verse was, if you didn't see it on the board or something correctly, it'll be in the description as well. It'll be in the description. We got to turn to it. Now, Paul doesn't stop with this statement. Doesn't stop with, okay, Paul doesn't stop. Anyway, I'm just going to read the question. What do you, we learn further about our roommate in 1 Corinthians 619? So let's go there and find out what we learn about our roommate. 1 Corinthians 619, which is on my Bible, one page over. And I am again reading out of the King James Version. Um, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you... Ye are not your own. So what did he say? What does Paul say there? What does he say about our roommate there? What do we learn about our bodies? Because we learn something about our bodies here. That our bodies are the temple of... They're the temple of who? Which is... The Holy Spirit. Now, I will say this to you guys. I will say this. Holy Spirit. God. He is three in one. God the Father. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. So, Yesterday when we were talking about God, our body, that our hearts are God's dwelling place, that our bodies are God's dwelling place, we're talking about God the Holy Spirit. We learn that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit and that we are not our own. We don't belong to ourselves. We do not belong we, are, we belong to God. Let me erase this and say this. Sorry, guys. I got to erase this. I did not think I'd need a bigger board. Although, I don't think they had bigger boards. Once we accept Christ as our Savior, we are no longer our own. We belong to God. Here, once again, we are reminded in this verse that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are not our own. God's residency in our heart gives him squatter's rights. 
You know what a squatter is, right? He owns us. We belong to him. He gives a he gives squatters rights. He gets squatters' rights, basically. Um, we've been hearing a lot in the news lately around here of squatters, people who are just taking over people's houses when they're not at home. Um, I heard of a story, and I don't know where this was, but the people apparently went on vacation, and when they came back, somebody else was living in their house. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll pick houses that are vacant or for periods of time, I guess. But the one thing difference between God and what a squatter is, is he gets squatter's rights, but he is not a true squatter. Because you have to invite Jesus into your heart in order to be able to, for that to happen. So if you don't know Christ as your savior, now would be a good time to accept him. And once you do, you get the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit then comes and dwells in you. That's an automatic gift you get from God. We learned that all the way back. When we accept Christ, what happens? God gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. So. Squatter kind of forces their way into your house. Takes it over. When you're not paying attention but God he waits till you invite him in and he's always there so if you don't know Christ it's just a simple prayer asking him to forgive you accepting acknowledging the fact that Jesus died for our sins and rose again that he died for our sins, that our sins debt is paid, and that we have eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And making him Lord of your life. That's as simple as that. But anyway, what am I doing? We will stop there. Um, I will tell you there's a big long thing to read here. I guess I should read that quick. Um, she shares here that when she went off to college, she was told she would have to share a dorm room. And they were with two other girls by the name of Heather and Martha. And she says here she had never shared a bedroom before, so she was nervous. She talks about how she was nervous. And, you know, I had to share a dorm room too. I had to share a room though. I had to share a room with my middle sister. I was the youngest, so I had to share a room with the, the like, the one that was before me, I didn't like it. <laughs> I will tell you, I didn't like that. But I will share with the Holy Spirit. I like sharing with him. He's cool. You know, she said here, she said, you know, that she was, how nervous she was, because this was one of her biggest concerns was the closet space in there. She says, did I have too many clothes? I needn't have, I, I need have worried. Martha breezed into the dorm and promptly appropriated half the closet for her extensive wardrobe. I'd never seen so many clothes. Heather and I meekly split the second half of the closet between us. Now, we share our hearts with the Lord of Lords, but how much room do we actually allow him to use? Uh-huh. Here's a question to think about. Here's a question to ponder. How much room do we actually allow the Lord to use? And do we give him his due or do, do we ask him to downsize? Do we allow him to reign or regulate him to the corner of a closet? So, do we give the Lord... How much room do we actually give the Lord? Do we do we give him all of it?
We give them all of our hearts or just a part. Do we give him all of our hearts or just a part? Do we give the Lord all of our hearts or just a part of it? Do we regulate him to a corner of a closet, basically? That's a good question, guys. Something to think about for tomorrow. Because I don't want this video to go like an hour. So, we'll think about that one for tomorrow. Um, we do have prayer time to do. And we do have some prayer requests to get to. Um, I'm going to leave this up here. And I will put this question in the description so we can ponder it. You know, this, this is really good. You know, I don't know. I think it's the Lord just having me having me um, ask these questions. Now, this one is actually in the book. Yesterday's, I want to tell you, wasn't. The, what does it mean to be set apart? And now, do we give the Lord all of our heart or just part of it? Do we let him have all of it or just part of it? And, of course, the verse will be in there in the description too, guys. But so will the question question will be there too we are going to pray and then i'm going to show you what we're doing well i'm going to then i'll tell you what we're doing um but anyway let's pray and agree in prayer for the many needs um i will say our church is having their vacation bible school this week what they call the summer blast and um ellie ann asked me to request prayer for her and walt i guess all the volunteers we should request prayer for all the volunteers um, it is at night. It's tonight, Sunday, through Thursday night. So they will all be, you know, going to work. You know, some of them work. So we need to pray. I know Ellie Ann had said her and Walt do go to bed early. They actually go to bed earlier than Steve and I do. Um, they get up about the same time, I think. Maybe they get to sleep an extra. I can't remember anymore. I think we all get up at the same time we do we all get up at the same time i think but um anyhow so to make a very long prayer request short just pray for the volunteers let's pray that they have a good that our church has a good vacation bible school good summer blast that lots of kids come um that it affects not just the kids but the parents who are sending them who don't know Christ too um, but pray for the volunteers that the Lord gives them strength and energy to be able to do the things that need to be done this week and that they're not too tired to go to their regular jobs um, so I know some people usually take vacation during their vacation Bible school week at church so that they can work at vacation Bible school. But um, but you know, I don't know how many people are doing that there because I don't know quite you know a lot of the volunteers. I just know a few of them. So anyway, let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you and we thank you, Father, that we are your dwelling place, that you do live in us. And, Father, I just pray now that we will realize that we can't delegate you, Lord, to a corner in our hearts. That, Holy Spirit, that we won't delegate you to a corner in our hearts, but that you will have all of it. You will have complete reign and complete control in our lives. That's how we have spiritual intimacy with you, Lord. I just pray, Lord, now in the name of Jesus that you will just be with the many needs. Father, I pray for Ali Ann and Walt and for all the volunteers at the church this week as they are going through Vacation Bible School tonight through Thursday night. I pray that you will be with them, that you will give them strength and energy, and that they will not be too tired to go to their regular jobs and do their regular things come the morning time when they have to go to work and father i just pray now that you will just be with them give them give them 
your grace to be able to sustain this week. And Father, I do pray as they are working with kids from, from the surrounding area, that Father, that you will just, that Father, that many kids will come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior, and that this will also have an effect on their parents. And that to any parent that does not know you as their Savior, Lord, that that parent will come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior this week. And Father, I do pray now in the name of Jesus that you will just be with, with Jessica. I pray as she has to undergo surgery, Father, I just pray in the name of Jesus that, that you will just heal her. I pray, Father, that if she has to undergo surgery, that you will just be with the surgeon, guide his hands, do the surgery, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I do pray that you will give our sweet sister Jessica a quick and speedy recovery. Father, as she has to go through this, I pray that she will have no pain and that you will just make this easy. There will be no complications in the name of Jesus. And Father, I just pray now that it will solve what is going on with her. And Father, I do pray that you will just be with our sweet sister Sheila, that you will just bless her, that as she is taking care of her daddy, that you will just be with her. Give her peace, give her strength. Father, in the name of Jesus, be with her. Bless her and her husband as they are doing what they are doing. And I just pray, Father, that now that you will just be with Tammy and her friends as they are helping out Rosella, that you will give Rosella peace and comfort. Father, I know she's 99 years old. And Father, her, I just pray for her pain right now that you will take it. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will bless each and every person that is helping with her. Give them the strength to be able to do what needs to be done for her. Give Rosella peace and comfort, I pray, in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for Tammy. My love, I just pray that you'll be with her, that you will just bless her, that you will just touch and heal her eyes, and that you will just be with her as she goes for her next round of eye shots. I just pray that she will have no no side effects from them in the name of Jesus. And Father, I do pray now for Dee Kelly's friend as she is in the final weeks and days and months of her life. I just pray that you will give her peace and comfort. And Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will just give her the peace of knowing that she's going to be with you when she closes her eyes on your own earth. And Father, that you will give her peaceful passing as well and for her family and her friends, that you will give them peace and comfort, not only as they are caring for her in these final days, weeks, and months of her life, but as they are saying goodbye, that they will have the, the peace and the comfort of knowing also, Father, that they will once again see her. And Father, I just pray now in the name of Jesus that you will just be with Terry, that your will will be done in that situation, that Father, as she may have had another stroke, I just pray that you will be with her. Touch and heal Kimberly, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will just touch and heal her neck and her back and all the pain that she is having now, Father, I just pray that you will touch and heal my sister in the name of Jesus. And Father, I do pray now that you will just, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Colleen and Susie and Becca and me and Anne Marie as we all have mental health issues father i just pray that you'll and lauren i just pray that you'll be with each and every one of us with our depression our anxiety our stress our worry my did you know everything that we have i just pray father that you will fill us with your presence your peace your joy in the name of jesus and father i do pray now in the name of jesus that you will be with susie that you will touch and heal her knee, her hip, and her back, Father. That you will take the pain away, Father. That she will be able to move and move freely without any pain in the name of Jesus. And Father, I do pray for Anne Marie for her chronic fatigue. I pray that you will just be with her. That you will just touch and heal her of her chronic fatigue. Give her strength. Give her energy to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus to do the things that she needs to do. Father, I do pray for Anne Marie's and mine's mom as... Anne Marie's mom has dementia. Mine has Alzheimer's dementia. I just pray, Father. Holy Spirit, one of your jobs is to bring everything to memory. So I pray, Father, that you will just touch and heal them, that you will touch and heal them of their, of their memory loss, that you will bring all things to memory that they have forgotten in the name of Jesus. And 
Father, the medication that my mother is on, I just pray that the doctor will see fit to put her on a safer, better one that's going to work for her. In the name of Jesus and Father, I do pray now that you will just be with Sonia, touch and heal her foot, I pray. And I pray, Father God, for her friend Sashi, that you will just touch and heal his heart. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will just be with Colleen, that as Lauren is going through what she's going through, Father, just give her comfort, give her your wisdom. Wrap your loving arms around Colleen and Lauren right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that as Colleen is going for full custody of Lauren, that she will get it, that it will get through the court system in a timely manner so that she will get custody of Lauren in a timely manner and not have to fool around with a lot of court dates. But Father, I just pray that you will make that way and that you will just make the way for Colleen and Becky to go through with their future plans, Father, that you will just bless them. And Father, I just pray for Colleen as she continues to quit smoking. I pray that you will be with her. I pray that you will just reach down and that you will continue to give her no desire for the cigarettes, Father, that she will have no desire for the cigarettes in the name of Jesus. Even this time where she's going through such a hard time that you will take that desire from her. And Father, I do pray now for, for Noah. Father, I pray for Anne Marie and Nick and Noah and that whole family. Father, they need healing and only you can heal their family. Put it back together. We thank you and we praise you for the answer to prayer we've already seen with Noah and that he is reconciled with his parents and that, but Father, I just pray for the rest of the family that you will just reconcile that situation in the name of Jesus. And Father, I do pray now that you will just, that you will just be with Nick and for Anne Marie, that you'll be with both of them as they have decisions to make about their family and how they're gonna handle all this. I just pray that you will give them wisdom. And Father, I do pray now that you will just be with us today, that you will reach down, that you will bless us, and that you will just give us each and every one of us a blessed rest of our Sunday. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys. Now, I'm going to do something for you guys. We are doing two tags today. Sorry guys, it sounded like something fell. But anyway, we are doing two tags today. I have Mariah with me who has been playing with something. Kind of. Trying to anyway. I'm going to play with her for a little while with it. But we are going to do Memory Sunday, hosted by Susan at Susan's Nursery. And then you'll see and maybe guess the other tag I'm doing. Maybe you can guess the other tag I'm doing, guys. Right, Mariah? Marie, mommy. First, show me. Okay. Mariah wanted you to see her and what she's wearing today. She decided after church she just wanted to be nice and comfy. So I put this onesie on her with, she thinks she's a little princess anyway, guys. So it's got princesses and castles on it, as you can see. She's in her jeans with the ruffles. But she has on these shoes. I don't know if these are Skechers. These might be Skechers. They look like they could be Skechers. I think they are. The bottoms of it. But look. They're purple and blue. They're really pretty. But today she has in. She wants you to see her hair. Because she had mommy put in two barrettes again. And she doesn't even like bows guys. So she had mommy put in. The lilac and the white bow again today. In her hair. Right? Right mommy? Now let's show them what we got. Okay. We are going to show you what we've got. Now, just like I said, I am doing Memory Sunday. And, well, instead of telling you my memory, I'm going to show you my memory. I'm showing you a memory. Okay. Do you guys remember a couple weeks ago I talked about how I used to play with my Cabbage Patch Kids all the time? Well, and that I used to have a Cabbage Patch Kid carrier look at this guys i put one of my cabbage patch dolls in it already um that's the other thing we're doing we are doing show your cabbage patch so look at this guys 
a carrier, the Cabbage Patch carrier. You guys remember these, right? This is my memory for Memory Sunday. I'm actually showing you the carrier. Look at this. I used to carry this thing everywhere with me. And look, it's got one of my Cabbage Patch in it. Um, Mommy, I want to play with it. Okay, I want to play with you. Come out of there so I can play with you. Oh, Mommy, it buckle. Okay, I got to unbuckle the Cabbage Patch Kid. We'll unbuckle the Cabbage Patch Kid and bring the Cabbage Patch Kid out. Now, this one didn't have, like, if I remember, if memory serves me right, my Cabbage Patch Carrier had a little, like, mattress in it. Something that was cushioned. This one didn't come with it. But I got this at a thrift store, guys. I saw this and I had to get it because it just reminded me of that carrier. But here's one of my little Cabbage Patch, as you can see. Okay, Mommy, give me the Cabbage Patch. Come out of the mouth. Mommy, the pacifier's not coming out. I don't think the pacifier comes out of this Cabbage Patch Kid, sweetie. I think if this pacifier came out, we would not get it back in. I don't know. Does the pacifier come out, guys? I don't know. Anyway, I used to play with my Cabbage Patch Kids with one of these all the time. Of course, I just put one of my, this is actually a birth cloth that I put in here just to get cushion the Cabbage Patch. But as you can see, and what do you think the other tag is that we're doing? It's Show Your Cabbage Patch by Josie over at Josie's Jungle Room. So we are doing two tags. We are doing Memory Sunday by Susan at Susan's Nursery and Show Your Cabbage Patch by Josie over at Josie's Jungle Room. So the Cabbage Patch, see this one has the hair. The hair on the Cabbage Patch I had were like, um, were yarn like this. But the Cabbage Patch I've been seeing lately, the newer ones, they're all like, they're like regular hair. But anyway, okay, Mariah wants to hold the Cabbage Patch, guys. She wants to play with the Cabbage Patch. Yes, I do, Mommy. Okay, I'm going to put the Cabbage Patch in the carrier, guys. <laughs> she likes playing with dolls, guys. You want, you want Mommy to help you? No, Mommy. I got it. I'm going to put the Cabbage Patch in the Cabbage Patch carrier. You are. Okay, guys, we're going to see if we can get this around here so you guys can see her putting the Cabbage Patch in the Cabbage Patch carrier. Go ahead, sweetie. Okay, come here. Come back to me. You got to come back to me, baby. Thank you. Oh, Mommy, you're going to have to help. Okay. I used to put the Cabbage Patch. Of course, Jeremiah likes this too, guys. He's standing here. He's looking at the Cabbage Patch as well. Um, but just to tell you, I used to play with this all the time. I loved putting my Cabbage Patch in the carrier and just picking it up. I'm going to show you. I used to pick it up like this and I used to carry it around. I used to carry that carrier everywhere. I had just about all the... <coughs> cabbage patch um all the cabbage patch accessories so that is my memory guys i just thought i'd bring it out and show you guys of course jeremiah likes this too he's been enamored by this as well today here let me see if i can get him in here show you him he's kissing the cabbage patch he's playing with the cabbage patch too guys in the carrier look at that He's playing with the Cabbage Patch in the carrier, too. But I found this at a thrift store the other day, and I have been so excited to show you guys this. Man, I saw this now. I'm going to tell you what my husband said. He said I should put a Cabbage Patch in it and sell it. He got the look. Didn't you, honey? He got the look. You know, the look. The, hey, your nuts look. That's what he got. He got the look. Mm-hmm. I had one of these as a kid. The minute I saw it, I made a beeline for it. I did get another Cabbage Patch doll with it, though. Honey, go get that Cabbage Patch doll, please. In the room on the bed, on the chair, with all the other Cabbage Patch. Just so you guys know, my Cabbage Patch collection is growing because I'm finding them in thrift stores so cheap. It's like, you know, I go back and I look at the dolls 
like when I'm in a thrift store. And this, I got this little cabbage patch with it. Well, he didn't come with it. I had to buy him separate, but look at this. This little, I think this is a splash cabbage patch. Look at that hair, no hair, but look. Got a little robe on it that has, Jeremiah thinks the doll is for him. Look at that. Has pig ears, pig thing. I could do a uh, Becca's pig day with this too. Um, with this cabbage patch. This is so cute. Let me fix this here. I'm going to show you me fixing. If Jeremiah will let me. Look at Jeremiah. He's like all about this. I got to fix this robe. This is how he came, guys. I don't know. Poor thing. Poor thing. I don't know how this thing was tied, guys. I got to figure out how to untie this now. But I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And then we'll actually have a robe on him. But this is definitely a cabbage patch. Because I always look. Oh, wait a minute. I always look for the special marking. Oh, right here. Definitely. He's got a cabbage patch robe on. Let's put it that way. But anyway, I will be displaying more cabbage patch kids in this for you guys. I used to always, always, always put my Cabbage Patch Kids in these. I loved putting my Cabbage Patch Kids in these. But that's what I got the other day. I've got to do something with that. And he even fits in there. Now, he doesn't fit in there quite the way this one does. This one actually fits in there. This one, I'll show you how this one fits in there. I know, guys. Just when you thought that this... this Boring video was going to be over. This video was going to be over. Not that I'm boring, but... Look at this. He's just a little, little guy in this carrier, but I'm going to show you what he looks like in this carrier. Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah is so enamored with this carrier, guys. Here you go, guys. There he is. He's... He or she, this is she is in the carrier now. But I'm going to put the other one back in there because that's the one that's going to be displayed this week in the carrier. The first one that I'm displaying in the carrier. I'm going to display babies in the carrier. And you might see this one more often. See, this is the kind I had. The kind with like the cloth and stuff as a kid. Um... That I used to put in here. Now I do have several big ones that are bigger than this. That, that are way bigger than this. That are too big for this. But if I recall. I used to put my, my Cabbage Patch in them all the time. And my Cabbage Patch were decent sized. The first Cabbage Patch were decent sized. So that is. Mommy can I own that one? Yeah. That one my size. Look at this, guys. I'm holding the other Cabbage Patch. And we're going to name all of our Cabbage Patch and share that with you guys. Actually, I just might be using this carrier while I do it. So anyway, that is our Memory for Memory Sunday. Hosted by Susan at Susan's Nursery. And Show Your Cabbage Patch by Josie at Josie's Jungle Room. I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful Sunday. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us at the Ark today. We really appreciated it. Um... Oh, yeah, I was going to show you what Hannah wore to church this morning. You guys want to see it really quick? I'll show you what Hannah wore to church. I had gotten this in a bundle. At a, now, I haven't been buying very many baby clothes right now because I'm, I'm going to start looking for fall stuff eventually. Um, but they have so much summer stuff. They don't need any more summer stuff. Um, but anyhow, let me get Hannah out and show you what she wore to church this morning. I got this in a bundle. And I think Savannah would look good in this too. But I think this might be a little big on Savannah. Although it's a little tight on Hannah. Although it fits her. So this is what Hannah is wearing. This is a Carter's newborn dress. It's got yellow flowers and orange flowers. As you can see in white. And it's got the orange ribbon. The orange bow. Which I have it tied because I can't tie it in the bow in the back. It's too, the bow is, bow is too short. I put a white bow in her hair. 
with a white onesie underneath. Um, and she just wore little socks. She just wore little Carter's socks with it, white socks with, with the ruffles, just to be dressy this morning. Um, but her pacifier clip doesn't stay on this either, which is like really odd, but I'm going to get her out of this eventually anyway, guys. And we're going to get Hannah out of this eventually. Um, and put her in her PJs anyway. Put her in a sleeper. I got to put Mariah in a sleeper too. Yes, mommy. And get these boys out of my hair. I only wanted to pose for the video. Oh, okay. Who is mommy? Who is mommy? To argue. I'm just the mommy. I don't argue. But anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And that you enjoyed seeing my... My memory, which is my cabbage patch carrier. My cabbage patch carrier with a cabbage patch kit in it. But that is my memory because I used to carry my cabbage patch around in my carrier. My cabbage patch carrier that I had. And this looks just like it. So I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, this is vintage. This is an older cabbage patch carrier. When we gave my Cabbage Patch dolls away, we gave the carrier to my niece, and I don't know what she did with it. So, my niece wasn't one to play with dolls. She just never played with dolls as a kid. So, I don't know what they did with them. But, anyway. Anyhow. Yes, I know I'm holding Hannah. But I'm talking about my Cabbage Patch. So, anyway. There they are, guys. And my Cabbage Patch Carrier, which is my memory for, for, for Memory Sunday. And then, of course, my Cabbage Patch for Show Your Cabbage Patch by Josie at Josie's General Room. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today as much as we enjoyed having you hang out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us. I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and enjoyed seeing my memory as much as I enjoyed like buying it. I was so happy when I, I hope that you guys are just happy to see it. That's what I should say. Happy to see my main memory. Happy the visual. So anyway, this is my visual memory day. So a visual memory. Hmm. For memory Sunday. A visual But anyway, come see what I got at the, come see, come see the memory I got. That's it. Come see the memory I got. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us in the yard today. We really appreciate it. And we will see you tomorrow. I hope that you have a blessed and wonderful Sunday. From Hannah, Mariah. Jeremiah and my and the Cabbage Patch Kids, which I don't have names yet, but they will. We hope that you have an incredibly blessed Sunday. Have a happy Sunday. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.